So variables give you a lot of power to manipulate values, and that's what we're going to look at. I'm going to create a variable x, and I'm going to assign to it the value of 10. There's an idea of an incrementation operator. And you've seen some operators already, right? We've seen addition, subtraction, multiplication. Um, we can do this. We can print 10 times 20. And sure enough, we're going to get 200. We can also print x times 20. And we'll see an output of 200. What if we want x to change? So currently x is pointing at the value 10. But what if we want to point x at the value 200? I can do something like this. x times gets 20. And then if I print x, by the time the code gets to line 5, x will be 200. Now, this is just a shorthand that we're seeing on line 3, x times gets 20. I could do x gets x times 20. And maybe this makes a little more sense, right? x gets x times 20. And of course, if I run that, I'll get 200. And to make this maybe a little more clear, maybe I'll assign the result of this operation to y, and then maybe I'll assign y back to x. And sure enough, we're going to get 200. So you can do this type of incrementation. Uh, you can do this with a number of different operators. And let's just demonstrate that. So I'm going to print x if we subtract 20 from x. So we start with 10, we end with negative 10. I'm going to, maybe I'll change the value of x and wait for replit to load. So maybe I'll change the value of x to, um, let's say, 8. And I'll do modulo by 3. So now x points at the value 2. I can even take this to the third power. So this should be 8 to the third power, which is 512. And yeah, this, this syntax, this incrementation syntax is going to be widely used. And it is definitely preferable to saying x gets x to the third power. You should instead say x double asterisks gets 3 to accomplish that same operation.